Dicopentadiene is unusually acidic for hydrocarbon. Why? And these are our answer choices. Cyclopentadiene is aromatic. The conjugate base of cyclopentadiene is aromatic. Cyclopentadiene is an unstable diradical, or the conjugate base of cyclopentadiene is an unstable diradical. So let's go ahead and see which is the correct answer choice for this uh, question. Why is cyclopentadiene so acidic? In order for us to do this question, we must first draw out our cyclopentadiene. Cyclo means it's a ring. Penta means it has five carbons. And diene means it has, en is a double bond. Di means two, so it has two double bonds like this. Now let's look at this molecule and we will first determine, uh, we will go from, I guess, top to bottom to see our answer choices. Is this molecule an aromatic molecule? Well, if you look at this molecule, um, we have to go through our aromaticity rules. The first rule is, is it cyclic or a ring? It is a ring, so that one is fine. Number two says that the molecule has to be planar. And like I said in my aromatic video, mostly the molecules are planar, especially if they don't have, if they have six carbons or less, they will be planar. Once you get to eight, ten carbons, um, uh, it might become uh, not planar, but usually we don't have tricks like that. So this molecule is planar indeed. And the third one is the molecule must be conjugated. Now, you can review of what conjugated means in the aromatic video that I have posted already. But I told you that a carbon with a double bond has a p orbital. So conjugated means an overlap of p orbitals. A carbon with a double bond does have a p orbital, so uh, it will work out. Uh, and a carbon with a positive charge, for example, will work out with the negative charge also work out. So when is it not, when does our atom not have a p orbital? The most common example is when carbon is connected to four different groups. It's sp3 and it will not be able to have a p orbital. So this case does not work. So if you look at each atom here, this carbon has a double bond, so that works. This carbon has a double bond, that works. This carbon has a double bond, that works. This carbon has a double bond, that works. Now let's look at this carbon. This carbon has two bonds and it's neutral. We don't see any charge on it. Therefore, it must be connected to two more hydrogens because every carbon wants to have four bonds altogether. And um, if it's connected to two more hydrogens, then it is this case. This is carbon that's connected to four different groups, and it's going to be, it's not going to be able to have a p orbital. Therefore, this molecule is not conjugated. Since this molecule is not conjugated, it is not aromatic. So we don't even have to go to our fourth rule, which is Huckel rule, which says that we have to have um, 4n plus 2 pi electrons. We didn't have to go to that because right away it was cyclic, it was planar, but this molecule is not conjugated because the carbon on top uh, does not have a p orbital because it has four connect four bonds. So it's not conjugated, it's not aromatic, therefore choice A is wrong. So let's go into choice B. This conjugate base of cyclopentadiene is aromatic. And this is talking about uh, an acidic hydrocarbon. Why would this be acidic? Well, an acid is a substance that easily gives off hydrogens and is stable once the hydrogen, once it gives off a hydrogen. So let's go ahead and let's say that Something comes in and takes one of these hydrogens, and let's see what what will become once one of the hydrogen is taken off. There will be one hydrogen left here, and there would be a lone pair and uh, left on this carbon and a negative charge. Now let's see. This is called conjugate base. This was an acid, and once you take its hydrogen, it becomes a conjugate base. 
Now let's check if whether it is aromatic or not. So is it cyclic? Yes. Is it planar? Yes. Now let's deal with conjugation. This carbon works because it has a double bond. This carbon works, like we said, all of these carbons work. Now let's look at this carbon. What happens here? It no longer is connected to four different things. Now it has three different things and a lone pair. And in my aromatic video, I said if a carbon has three uh, connect three bonds and a lone pair of electrons, it does work. It does have a p orbital and it will be able to be conjugated therefore this whole molecule is conjugated so rule number three is satisfied it is cyclic it is planar it is conjugated now let's count how many electrons does it have pi electrons each double bond counts as two electrons and a lone pair also counts as two electrons therefore we have and for more specific rules again you can watch my aromaticity video and it will help you a lot but we have here two, four, six. We have six pi electrons. Now let's see. Is that does that go with Huckel's rule? We can we can do it like this: four n plus two is equal to six. Four n is equal to four. N is equal to one. Therefore, and for Huckel's rule, n can be equal to zero, one, two, three. It just has to be an integer. Here it is one. That works. So the Huckel's rule works as well. Therefore, this molecule is indeed aromatic. So that choice must be B. The reason cyclopentadiene is unusually acidic, it's very easy for it to lose its hydrogen, is because it becomes aromatic, which is very, very, very stable. So. Uh, in general, molecules that are not aromatic, that become aromatic after uh, some kind of reaction, in this case, uh, deprotonation, that's very favorable and that will occur quicker because it wants to happen because this product is very stable. On the other hand, if you have a molecule that's already aromatic and a reaction will make it not aromatic, it will take its aromaticity away, its aromaticity away, that reaction is less likely to occur. It will most likely not occur. So in this case, the reason cyclopentadiene is unusually acidic why does it lose this hydrogen so easily is because it becomes aromatic once it loses its hydrogen and being aromatic is very very stable and therefore it really wants to lose the hydrogen and to become its best version of itself which is its conjugate base that is aromatic. I hope you found this video helpful. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring and I look forward to seeing you in more of my chemistry videos.